basic association with uh, with the registers. So um, we've already started this uh, demo. We've already started up uh, Devware. We're back to our same SOC 5140. And you'll notice here on the right is the register dialog. Um, the register dialog can be enabled or disabled from the uh, the button on top. You'll notice here to the control dialog we've just disabled it for now. And um, first thing you'll notice is that there are these tabs here. Uh, the tabs are associated with pages, uh, the pages of which and they're all the registers are defined in the SDAT file, which is uh, noted here. And through this pull down you can select the various uh, pages of the register. Uh, these happen to be firmware variables. Uh, there are also straight registers here. And uh, there are also um, the registers that are on the uh, demo headboard here you're going to have access to. So for simplicity here, let's just go back to a, a simple page, the, uh, the monitor variables. And uh, you also notice here these plus signs. The plus signs indicate that there are um, bit fields associated with that register. Here there's just one. Um, here there's several. I also notice that um, in this case there are several marked reserved. Uh, what that means is that the those uh, bit fields do exist, but they've been hidden because they're considered intellectual property to Obtina, and so they aren't displayed. Uh, you still they still show up here. You can manipulate them if you want to, but they are really just uh, they're not named to again to protect Obtina intellectual property. Um, Here's an example of uh, just more of these. Now, um, to manipulate a register and or a bit field, you have several, uh, several methods. You can enter a value directly, in which case here we could, uh, let's actually go back to, uh, to here, for example. And here's a situation where you could set it to 1 if we wanted to and do a set. You can also hit return to do that. Or um, you can use the scroll bar right here. Or you can do actually by a bit field. These all kind of set the uh, the same, um, have the same effect. And down here you'll see your information, which tells you um, the mask, which in this case is one, meaning that this this is only a one bit field uh, uh, situation. The min is one. The ma uh, sorry, the min is zero. Max is one. Default zero. So if we did set this to one, we could also click set default and it would set it back. Down here you'll notice that there is a what we call a short description. And it tells you just in a one sentence or two what the uh, what the register is uh, is for. Um, another thing that you can do is you can do a search. So let's say you don't uh, maybe you don't know what page a particular uh, register is on. You can certainly open this up and you can type in the uh, the register name. In this case, it's one that's on the same page, but it gets us there. You can also do um, an address, which will, um, oops, no matches. Oh, that's because it is a register. So let's go back up here. Let's trick a, since this is a firmware variable, you won't be able to access them by dire by, directly by address. But uh, for the uh, sensor, which are actually true registers, um, this should work. So let's try this. And there we go. So we can access that by register. You have several selections here as far as what you'd like to do, but um, as far as um, for symbols or descriptions or addresses and so on. So let's go back to our monitor page. And um, one of the things that um, is, you can do here is uh, right click on this, and you have several options. So uh, one of the uh, things that you people do mainly with the registers is they do a watch. And here you can see how this is changing. You can change this to refresh rate to 10 times a second. This happens to be the firmware heartbeat I just that we happen to know. And you can see this is a, it's up, it's a incrementing. And this is the value of the change that's going on. Um, let's keep that. If you want to, you can remove that item or do a clear all. Let's go back here to this one. And let's add that to watch. Let's say you wouldn't want to add the bit field to the watch. And then um, if we do a 1 here, you'll notice that there was a quick change, but it told you what the change was, and the new value. And that goes back. Again, we can do a clear all. So a watch window is something that's very, very useful um, if you have to uh, debug or see what's going on uh, with, a, with a register or a variable. Another thing you can do is show and hide the data sheet. The data sheet contains the long description 
of the register. So as we are doing, uh, looking down here, the current driver mode for the short description, uh, this tells you the long description is enter a test mode, actually. Firmware will only execute run loop and monitor. So that's a good way of, of seeing if you're looking at something with the actual long description is. And you can go ahead and, and select any of these, and it will show you um, uh, the, uh, the long description. Same thing for any of the registers. So you get a the longer description of what's actually going on uh, with that register. All right, so that's the gets the again. That's the regular the the normal uh, register dialog uh, and um, uh, and how to manipulate those registers. Now if, remember back when we went to actually have the sensor control dialog. Um, the sensor control dialog is um, is the graphic. Um, display of what the registers are really doing. So if you knew, for example, for special effects, which register uh, controlled these, um, you could actually manipulate those in the, in the register dialog. So to find out which registers, and this isn't a secret, the sensor control dialog is really nothing more than a, a method of, um, of making it easy to, to manipulate those registers. I'm going to scoot this over here a little bit just so we have uh, the register dialog in full view. And what I did was I, I went up here again, and uh, you know this uh, uh, this uh, menu item lets you turn on and off different modes or different dialogues, and also the controls as we learn about in the getting started. In this case, I've opened up the register log, and I'm going to do an enable. And let's for example, let's say that we're interested in knowing which register actually does the special effect. So we enabled the log here. Let's say I select mono, and you'll see that two. Um, entries have shown up. One is the sys select FX and one is a sequence command. You see this var 8 and a 23. That tells you it's a firmware variable on page 23. And this is a uh, firmware variable 8 bit wide and on page 1. Now if we double click, first we have to get uh, control of that dialog. If we select that, it'll take us right to the sensor, con the, sorry, the register dialog where that's actually uh, happened and you'll see that. Let's add this to the watch dialog for grins. And let's say we're interested in what the sequence, the sequence command does. And if we're really interested, we can open up the data sheet. And, and then it tells us, oh, here's all the, what happens with the sequencer command. Do preview, do capture. It had a value of 6. So that was actually a refresh mode. So from here, it looks like if you want to turn on mono, for example, in an any file, which we'll show, we'll get into a lot more detail later on as far as um, any file selection in another, uh, in another video. Um, this would tell you that the, to turn on mono, you first have to select the system select FX variable, and set it to 1, and then issue a 6 to the sequence command. And then you simply can do the same thing here. So Sapia, and now you notice this keeps running along here. That's because it's just more writes to these individual registers. But in this case, for uh, Sapia, and again, forgive me if I've pronounced that wrong, um, same sort of thing. It's just yet another register. And here's uh, Sepia color for CR. And uh, if we did uh, same thing here, show that's actually doing CP. If we wanted to, we could add that to the watch. You could select uh, a range if you wanted to to uh, to set to the watch. Here we've got a couple of duplicates. Let's get rid of one of those. And so um, let's disable the log for example. And uh, here we have a um, shows us in the watch uh, dialog what's going on with these uh, with these registers. Again, pretty simple uh, example, but it gives you an idea how you can use the watch window and the register dialog in conjunction with the sensor control to find out what's going on with these all these registers here. Okay, pretty straightforward, pretty simple, but again, a very powerful tool. We'll clear out our log here for cleanliness. Clear all our our registers out of there. And we'll close the, uh, oops, let's open the center control dialog and put that back to, to off. Okay, very good. Close this up. There are a couple of other um, right control here. You can copy the name, format the name to the, to the clipboard, um, add it to, to a preset if you'd like. Um, here's a list of all the demo presets you already have. It'll add a new one. I won't go into a lot of detail. You can explore that if you uh, want to. Those are kind of um, extra items. I don't personally use them very often. I certainly use Add to Watch though quite a bit. All right, and that is the end of this training video for, the, uh, for simple register control and devware.